Hello there. I'm going to be, uh, I was going to do some magnet fishing today, but, um, I have a three, my wife has a three hour long appointment and it's raining hard and I didn't leave, I didn't take any of my, uh, stuff with me because I figured it was going to rain all day. So I'm actually editing at the moment. I got the computer, I got the phone hooked up to the Wi-Fi and personal hotspot hot and that stuff. Editing my uh, magnet fishing adventure from yesterday. I hope hope you enjoy the new camera. Um, right after the recording of R slash that sucks, my camera broke, which sucks. Um, let me think. Yeah. I want to try to react to a video today, so that'll be a little bit different because I usually just do Reddit stuff. That way I don't get demonetized or anything like that. Not demonetized. I'm not monetized. You have to be, you have to have more than 12 subscribers to get monetized. I enjoy the 12 that I have. So no, um, I don't want to get copyright infringement type of thing like I did on my first video, I had clips, probably longer than what it was supposed to be, but I ended up having to delete it and remake it, so hopefully, that kind of, that kind of scared me off doing regular videos, but, uh, I think this one be, would be alright, because it's the news, but maybe not, and I watched, uh, Matthew's fam, he's, he's done a lot of Grady Judd before. Um, well, with that being said, I'll, I'll just get into the video. We are going to be watching Polk Sheriff Grady Judd explains Florida's new anti-riot bill. I've never watched it, so. Okay, so I hooked up the speakers, Bluetooth. Um, it's going to be off a little tiny bit, but I might be able to fix that in, uh, while I'm editing, but, uh, to me, in re in real time, it'll be a little bit off, so. Oh, I need to, I need to redo the record. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had the pleasure of privilege of being in law enforcement my entire adult life and I've worked with the legislature for a majority of my law enforcement career in my adult life. Never have I seen the leadership that I see with Governor DeSantis, with Speaker Sprouse, and with President Simpson. They're making a positive difference, not for government, but for the people of the state of Florida. Florida is a unique Oh, he just said Florida. I was about to say he's a, um, in case you don't know who he is, he's a sheriff of Polk County in Florida. A special place. It's where we work, where we live, but it's also where the world comes to play, to bring their children. And their children have a right to be safe. Right. And that's guaranteed under the leadership of our governor, our speaker, our president, and the way we do business in Florida. You can compare and contrast. Look at Seattle, Portland, Minneapolis. That's no way to treat... That's no way to treat those that put their entire life into building their business. We saw folks' businesses burn around mm -hmm. this nation who literally had worked their entire life and had every penny of their life savings involved. Mm -hmm. And what our governor said is, that's not happening here. And we're going to be proactive, and we're going to make sure people are safe. Well, it might come as a surprise to you, Governor. I got some... There you go. <laughs> I want to make sure everybody knows, this is a peaceful protest. We right. encourage it. Yep. It's the foundation of our country, and we want people to peacefully protest when they feel the need. 
This is right. And this mm -hmm. will get you locked up before quick in the state of Florida. He always loves Pay his attention. pictures. We've got new law. And we're going to use it if you make us. What the we're going to protect is. the people. No longer will people walk up and surround you as a citizen of Florida or a or a visitor of Florida surround you while you're eating dinner at an outdoor cafe in a big mob without there being immediate consequences and arrest. Good. It's not acceptable. He's got more well, pictures of it. Oh, no. There's always some that don't get it the first time. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Peaceful protest, we encourage, and more riot. We can tell the difference. And Most I'll people can. You that you'll be able to tear, tell the difference if you come here and riot. If you come here and protest peacefully, we encourage that. But why is all of this important? I'll tell you why. I've got something I want you to see. This is what we enjoy in Florida. Mickey this Mouse. is the Florida we know and love. This is what our governor. Beaches. Dogs. Our speaker, our president. This is what all these law and enforcement boats. officers nice. and administrators and sheriffs and police chiefs and their officers do every day. They guarantee an environment where you can come here and have fun. In fact, That's good. You can even have more fun. Here's another <laughs> picture. Disneyland. This is the Florida jumping. we know and love. We're a special place. And whatever that is. And there are millions and millions of people who like to come here. And quite frankly, we like to have them here. So we only want to share one thing as you move in hundreds a day. Welcome to Florida. But don't register to vote and vote the stupid way you did up north. You'll get what they got. There's a reason that this place is fun. There's a reason why we have a 49-year low crime rate. And the same people that don't think we should have an anti-rioting bill or a rioting bill are the same ones that think we ought to let more people out of prison. And where they're doing that, as the governor and our speakers have alluded to, crime goes up. But it's not just crime that goes up. Victimization goes mm -hmm. up. The people in those states are hurt and killed. And their livelihoods changed, and their children are changed. So when I look at this president, I know my children and my grandchildren are safer today than they've ever been because of his leadership and the leadership of our speaker and our president and the wonderful men and women and the sheriffs that are here. God bless you all. Well, it wouldn't be a Grady Judd press conference without some visual aids, so. Oh, that's it. Well, that was interesting. I like that video. Um, Grady Judd is very, very funny, and he always does the visual aid things, and I'm definitely going to do another one. This one was probably, what, five minutes, ten minutes maybe. I'll probably end up doing another one and with something that's a little bit more entertaining maybe. But, he, the, the, yeah, I agree with him completely. With A lot of people think, oh, the crime rate goes up. It's not that big of a deal. No, it's definitely a big deal for the victims because... I mean, I'm not, I'm, I've never been a victim of a major crime. I think we, I've, I've had my bike stolen. I've had my bike vandalized when I was a kid. And that's pretty much it. Recently, uh, somebody from when I was, ma when I was magnet fishing, took a couple of my magnets off of, not the magnets for magnet fishing, but the, um, LGBTQ plus, uh, straight ally type of things that I have in the, on the outside, took them. I'm like, where did they go? No, they took them. 
but that's like the the tiniest little thing because I live in a town that's less than 1200 people so it's a village and yeah I, we drive over to Cleveland all the time and we haven't had any problems knock on wood <laughs> but uh, yeah he's right about the more victims and I'm glad that they can tell the difference between a riot and a um, a protest I've I've seen like a little tiny snippet of that where he shows like this is a riot this is a protest and um, basically it was like he was defending a homeowner saying that if if there's a riot outside your house then you can absolutely do what you need to do to protect yourself and the law will not harm you that you'll you know that that kind of a thing but uh i think i'm gonna record a couple more videos while i'm waiting in the car so get used to this and i'm probably gonna end up i don't have another shirt so probably gonna be the same thing it's america and then strong it was just something comfy because I knew I was going to be in the car for three hours. So...